Hello, I'm Heather Brown and welcome to another edition of Santa Barbara Newswire, giving you, the viewer, a healthy dose of local and world current events as well as satisfy that fix in all that is pop culture. This week in the war, the U.S. death toll hit 4,000. In Baghdad, a roadside bomb killed four U.S. soldiers on Easter Sunday alone. Most believe the attacks in Baghdad have stemmed from the rival Shiite group. Navy Lieutenant Patrick Evans revealed that we've made significant gains, but while the enemy keeps pressuring, there is still a great amount of work to be done in this war. The deadliest attack came in Mosul, where a suicide driver smashed his vehicle into a security checkpoint, showering gunfire and explosions in front of an Iraqi headquarters building, killing 13 Iraqi soldiers and injuring 40 others. Violence has also been a major concern in our local cities. As a result, police agencies across the U.S. are upgrading to bigger weapons such as assault rifles. The need for greater protection stems from the 2004 expiration of the federal ban on assault weapons. In 2007 alone, 69 officers were shot and killed, making it the greatest number of massacres in the last five years. Police are being armed with assault rifles to protect themselves against aggressors, giving them greater power, accuracy, and long-distance shooting capabilities. That's all for today. Remember to catch new updates of Santa Barbara Newswire every Friday right here on Channel 21. I'm Heather Brown, and you stay classy, Santa Barbara.